after being a prize star he is, he would, I clearly remember when we were at Padagonal, the ground and the racing uh, uh, scenes, uh, the entire uh, the entire cast was there and there were a lot of, lot of uh, uh, kiosks and musti and everything going on. And uh, every time I had, I mean, I was supposed to have this school girl, uh, you know, to Chodi. Chodi's, yeah. And somehow every time, Amir would manage to go behind me and he would tie my ribbons so tight, so tight and it would take a good 15 minutes to uh, go out of it and, and everyone would be at home, especially Mansoor. Amir, please, what is this? Every time, every time you do this, the musti, I'm in musti mood. <laughs> and this is how, I mean, Amir would, and this one more thing he would keep doing to everyone, I guess, the cup. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone has memories of it. You can't give yourself out of that much. Well, well, I don't have like to tell that story. I don't have like to tell that story. Because when I tell the story, then I can't do it on new people. Yeah, that's, that's, that's too bad. Yeah. There's a whole new generation. You can, ah, some, he used to say, let me read your hand and spit on it and hurry up. His latest posters of Bangal are raising their hands saying that he did the same thing. 24 years later, he's still doing the same thing. You want to get new pranks now. Yeah, listen to me. Why do I spit on my heroine's hands? It's very important to know that. Just the heroine's hand, I'm going to get number one. 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 I'm not a supporting actor in half with Hukaska. What is that? Supporting actor in half with Hukaska. It only works for heroines. Hello, Hello. 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 I must take a chance here and say for all of us here that you know, uh, they say that life is nothing but memories, data lights, or wherever. And for all of us, this film has been the most memorable about all of the love. I'm sure most of us will agree. I'm sure that it is. It has been, uh, you know, so many things for for this film. This has been uh, something that uh, I, I will never forget in my life for so so many reasons. Uh, and uh, uh, the memories that Mansoor uh, had created for me and Jatin together while making this music was something that uh, that was so learning from there onwards in my career and so memorable. And I always feel and I say that Jojita was one film where I enjoyed working the most in many ways. And uh, I miss Majur Sahib and I miss my brother Jatin here today. And also let me tell you one more thing that this film has been the most inspiring film for many of the directors who have uh, later on uh, have made some wonderful films. In fact, uh, in one of uh, my sessions, uh, in just session with Aditya Chopra, he said that when this film was uh, in the screen, they were in college, both uh, Karan Chopra and uh, Aditya Chopra. And obviously, they were young guys and writing something and doing whatever they were doing. And they said that when we grow up and when we will make films, we will work with Jatin and Lalit. This music has been so inspiring for them. So I, I, I really, from my heart, uh, thank Nasi Saab and Mansoor Saab for leading us, making this music. And I strongly feel had Mansoor Saab not, had not been there, this music would have not been the way it came out to be because this was our very first music. We were very nice, very eager to do well. But there was, uh, we needed somebody really like a pillar behind us because we went into a big group of uh, musicians working who were looking a little down on us. But Mansoor uh, backed us very, very nicely and said, no, no, you go ahead and do whatever you have in mind and see how it goes. And that, that gave us the strength, and that is what has made this music. I think I'm missing out on one part of the preparation. Uh, is I used to take them jogging on the beach. We composed half of the music on the beach in Vardava. So because it's a sports film, I think the music directors have to run it. <laughs> Talking about uh, Amir thinking different, differently in those days, there is a moment uh, which I'd like to really share. It was a very crucial thing. Uh, I don't know, Mansoor, Amir and me. It so happened that I was supposed to do the fight with Mamek the next day. And Mansoor 
tells me to come to his room. And when I go to the room, Amir is there. And we are discussing. Amansur's question is that tomorrow Deepak is supposed to fight Mavik. I don't know if you guys remember this. Okay, it's a classic case. Huh? It's an amazing case. So, I'm, I'm like, okay, so I was not prepared for what exactly Mansoor is getting at. So he says, now tomorrow, Deepak is supposed to fight Mavik. So, what do you think Deepak should happen? So I looked at Amir and Amir was like, okay. So he says, Amir, what do you think? So Amir was very clear. He was like, see, Deepak is a villain. He is supposed to get beaten up. <laughs> so, Mansoor looks at me. I said, Mansoor, I don't agree with Amir because my logic was different. If you beat me up here, then my race with Amir was completely flat. Then everybody knows if the brother has beaten me, then hero is going to beat me. So, Mansoor just went quiet. We were all quiet. He said, okay, fine. Go now, both of you. Mansoor was always very, very clear, very curt, very, okay, for work is over, now you go. So, what was decided? Uh, what was exactly? So, Amir said, but, no, I don't, uh, you know, you should do films like Dil and all. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> so, okay, we are both go now. So, that's how, the next day when I was doing the sequence, the whole scenario was entirely different. So it was like, you know, I remember this very clearly that, yeah, it was it was a different thinking that Amir was yeah, yeah. going through. I, I, I can vaguely remember that now. Because I always, you know, looked at Mavik's character as, you know, Jackie Shroff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jackie Shroff, you can't make So uh, my point was that he, I, I don't want to feel that, you know, I want to feel that he was an elder brother, he could take care of himself. But because of some trickery, yeah. three of you all beat him up. Yeah. That was my point. He should be getting the better of him, was my point. Okay, he should be someone who I look up to and I feel okay, what, a, what a hero here. And he's standing up to the three or four guys who attacked him. But it's because of the circumstances who Patrata Martha 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 Finally, we can have a brother. No, 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 uh, my character was written in, I think, at a much later date, I suppose, uh, is what I remember. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, I remember Amit telling me in Kodi Kanan that, Mami, ye film ka kuch bhi hoi, but your character will take off. And knowing that, knowing that, so comfortably went through the films, was so encouraging, uh, encouraging through the entire you know, process of making it. And uh, it was a great friend to have, Amit. I must thank you for that, for your friendship. It's been 24 years since um, the film released. Um, do you have memories of, you know, how, what's been the time since? I mean, are you, Pooja, you've spoken about how you went to the theatre um, right after the film released, <coughs> very different from what you look in the film. I mean, how, Farah, you said it's the film that's changed your life. Do you find that that's the film you're the most frequently remembered for? Yes, I, I definitely feel so. Because uh, this song, Pehla Nasha especially, has stood out so much in uh, the career of Jatin Dalit that whenever we meet somebody uh, who's a music lover, we'll always speak about this song. Mm. And the singers who have sung this, they say that this is their life's best song. And uh, I must give uh, credit to Maju Sahab the way he's put the song together. It's, it's absolutely magical and I think it just happens once in a lifetime. And that is one of the reasons why I've never tried to make this song or, or a song of this style again. Because I know it, it's, it just happened. You know, I have to say that till today, it's been 24 years, but every
every single time I'm invited to any function, it could be in Calcutta, it could be across India, it could be even internationally, at the moment when they ask me to come on stage, it's always Penhanesha that's playing as a theme song when I walk onto the stage. It's unbelievable. And the number of times the song has been played on the radio till date, the number of remixes that have come up about the song, even Sanam has done a wonderful rendition of it recently. It's amazing. The song has just gone from strength to strength. And I think the film is more popular today than it was back then. You know, it's, it's really lived on people's minds and people's hearts, and it's just been fabulous. But it, I have to say, I think my most amusing part of shooting this film was the height difference between Amar and me. <laughs> Let's demonstrate. Amar. And, and, and there was a scene, you know the gold digger scene when you know, I have to slap him and I walk away and then he walks behind me. So generally, Amar was very sweetly given this box he had to stand on. <laughs> and, and he would do it really sweetly, you know. It was, it, there was no ego attached. He was wonderful about it. He'd get on very matter-of-factly and do the scene with uh, Devika. And then in the scene, um, I slap him and walk away. So suddenly there's Amir, and he gets off the box. So there's Amir and Amir chasing me. <laughs> so, so then he said, no, no, this isn't working. So then they had to build a ramp. So, <laughs> Pooja is never going to spit on your hand after this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to send my daughter to him. And I'm going to say, Alia, you have to go to meet Amir uncle. He needs to spit on your hand.